What is going on, you guys? And my analytics said there is no gals, but in case there is a gal out there and gals, <laughs> I looked at my almost 2,000 subscribers. I think we're at 16, 17. I don't really keep track of that stuff because that's not what this is all about for me. It's not about the subscribers um, It's all about the people that want to watch, you know, I'm not out there fishing for more subs Or what have you, um, but I was looking at it and it said I had 100% uh, male subscribers <laughs> and I was like, holy crap, dude um, But like I said, it's been a couple weeks since I made a video and there was a reason for that um, I was seriously thinking about quitting YouTube altogether um, and Mike baseball collector y'all know him as I just call him Mike um, he said it in a couple of his videos me and him have become really really close friends and I'm not talking about just cards um, more times than not we talk about life or family and stuff like that um, he kind of talked me down off the ledge and then I talked to my wife because um, I'm passionate man about the community um, especially about the YouTube community. I've been in it for seven, eight years now, something like that. Um, and it was something that was really irking me, man. And so I talked to both of them separately. Didn't tell either one that I talked to the either um, my wife or Mike. They both basically said the same thing. And I'll keep that with me, what they said. Um, but they were both 100% true, and I don't like to tell um, Mike he's right very often, but... You were right, buddy, and I greatly appreciate it, man, so thank you. Um, so that's enough of that crap. No one came on here to see uh, an Oprah Winfrey show at two minutes into this video. So let's get into it, man. Um, I think going here in the future, I'm not going to show all the TTMs I get, not every single one. Um, I think that was kind of getting boring, kind of a drag. Um, if you liked that, then please let me know. Um, and I'm just trying to mold this this channel to what you guys like. Um, so we'll get into it. So every thing I'm going to show today is all slabs. Um, I believe all of these are either purchases or trades. Um, so this first one uh, was a guy that I didn't have an autograph of, which is hard to believe because I'm a, an NFL Hall of Fame collector. Um, primarily, actually, it's like my first three. My first three PCs. <laughs> uh, but the first one I, I bought was Nick Botticante. Let me see if I can get rid of some of this glare here. Um, yeah, I didn't have a single autograph of his. Um, and he's not in the best of health. And so he will not be signing um, from what I understand. So really happy to get this. It's not a Hall of Fame inscription. And it's not in blue. And it's not on a rookie card. But hey, man. You have to get on the table somehow, and here we go. Next, this probably isn't going to show up on camera at all, um, but I bought this for, I believe it was $25. Yeah, it's not going to show up. Um, he signed it right across here, Antonio Brown. So, really cool, 25 bucks. I figured really can't beat it. kind of wish it, the signature showed up a little bit more, but what you going to do? Um, this card has been in my drawer for a long time, like since before I was on deployment. Um, and Manny um, had this card, um, All-Star Jersey Shop. He had this card, this particular card, and I had kind of this card, but it was in a jersey version, a jersey relic version, and, and they were both signed and they were both slabbed. And I told him, man, I just trade them straight up, man. They were both pink... Um, prisms if you will and so he traded me this Joey Bosa um, pink it's not a refractor but I will call it a refractor for shits and giggles um, and I had the same card but it was more the, the the Jersey relic version so he was like sure dude and like whatever man yeah let's do it so we just traded straight up for that and I really like this card a lot um, I this was a purchase while I was on deployment this is a 1983 tops Kenny Easley signed rookie card with the Hall of Fame inscription down at the bottom. Um, always, always, always happy to add um, NFL Hall of Fame rookie cards to my autograph collection, man. So that is awesome. Next is a dude that it's just he doesn't sign, man. Um, I think he's doing a signing later on this year, and as far as I know, that's the first signing I've. I've seen him do in probably six, seven years. 
Um, and really come to think about it, I've never seen him do a signing at all. Um, so really excited and I'll definitely be giving that company my money. But this is a 1993 Pro Lines Portraits of Shannon Sharp. Um, I'm not really trying to start a PC with the cards signed with guys with their shirts off. Um, but if I do, this will be the number one in that PC. This will be what started it all. <laughs> um, next, this was a part of a trade. and This wasn't the entire trade, but this was a, a, a large portion of it. This is a 1990 Topps traded uh, Cortez Kennedy rookie card. As a lot of y'all know, uh, Mr. Kennedy passed away a couple years ago. So it's not like these are going to become more prevalent in the future. Um, so definitely happy to get on that and jump on board. Um, some of y'all might remember a couple videos ago I made my 2019, my top six autographs I wanted to get. Um, I'll go through them because they're right here in front of me. I'm kind of, I try to stay very goal driven so I try to keep my goals right in front of me where I can see them every day. Um, and it was a Tom Brady autograph, Troy Aikman, 1989 Topps autograph, Franco Harris, 73 Topps, Curtis Martin, um, Art Monk, any item, and a Joe Montana, um, 1981 Topps rookie. So, um, we'll get into this, man. This is a 1989 Topps traded PSA DNA 10 Troy Aikman autograph. So happy to get this. It did not have the Hall of Fame inscription on it, um, but I got a kind of a, a promo through eBay for 5% off. And uh, hey man, I had to pull the trigger on it. Next, this Hall of Fame, this Hall of Famer and this card um, have been on my want list for probably three years. I thought I could get them TTM. I tried and tried and tried and just, I never got my stuff back, man. Um, I tried multiple addresses, and then his stuff isn't that expensive on eBay, um, but it won't have the Hall of Fame inscription. Um, and while I was on deployment, I think it was PWCC, it might have been um, Probstein 123, it was one of them two. Someone basically sold their entire Hall of Fame signed rookie card collection. And man, there was so freaking many of them that I wanted, man. I was like drooling. And if I had an extra six grand laying around, I probably would have popped off the entire collection. But this was the Numero Uno. I think I might have shown this in a, in a past video. Um, so if I have, I'm sorry. But this is a 1959 Topps. Um, it says VG3. Um, they're talking about the card here, not the autograph, because the autograph is a freaking thing of beauty, man. And that's Sam Huff. This is his rookie card with the beautiful inscription signed in blue. Does not get any better than this, in my opinion. Freaking top notch, man. Love this card. And hell, that might might have been why I didn't put it away, just because I like to see it so much. And my memory is so bad, I'll just keep showing it like in every 10th video from here on out. <laughs> um... Next, this was a purchase, a guy, we, we had a, a Facebook garage sale in one of the groups that I had been. Uh, and you know, you kind of see the same run of the mill, mediocre stuff. And then out of nowhere, this bad boy popped on there and I was like, holy smokes, man. So I'll tell you the story of it. And if the guy that, that I did this to watches this video, man, I'm so freaking sorry. It was salt, just business, dude. <laughs> but... So the guy posted this picture of this card. Hey, hey, Corb! The guy posted a picture of this card, and in the comment section of that, he, someone wrote, will you, will you take this much money? And I was like, oh my gosh, dude. I'm like, I totally would freaking pay that much. And so I PM'd the seller directly, and I was like, hey, will you take this much? And I just raised what that guy said by $25. And he wrote me back, and he's like, yeah, man, sure deal. <laughs> so this is another NFL Hall of Fame signed rookie card. This 1948. 1948 Leaf. Bullet Bill Dudley, man. Freaking ridiculous. Um, for some reason, the it seems like the picture is really grainy once the... The camera, or once the cards get close up, 
um, or I'd show you, but I, I really think this autograph has a pretty decent chance of getting to 10 um, when I do a crossover. I don't know if that's hopes and dreams or if that is truly um, what I what it would get. I mean, I don't see any smears or anything. And if I can get this in a 10, man, on a uh, 1948 leaf, that would be incredible. The corners are, are worn. Some some of the corners are extremely worn. But you know what, man? As an autograph collector, as this autograph collector, that crap doesn't matter to me. That's all about the autograph itself. And this autograph is freaking beautiful, man. So excited to get this one. Um, Next, this was the number one, man. Numero uno of things to get in 2019. And I've already got it. Um, I got it with about... 10 days into the new year. Um, I, I came across some money. I had some extra money. I sold some things and things were just really going really well for me and my wife financially at the time. And uh, I was able to pull the trigger on this, man. And I promise you, I probably won't ever get another card signed by this dude because <laughs> it's, it's so expensive. But here we go, man. 2000 Upper Deck PSA DNA 10 Autograph. Tom freaking Brady, man. So I'm not the hugest Brady fan. I'm not I'm not one of them dudes that's a hater. I don't have nothing against him. I just don't really have nothing for him. I'm just not a, just a fan. I'm not a hater. I'm just not a fan. I'm not one of them dudes that post 10,000 memes every week about how crappy he is or a cheater or whatever. Because I think he is one hell of a quarterback. And he's definitely going to go down as probably the top one of the top three quarterbacks of all time. Uh but I most definitely had to get him in the freaking collection, man. And, there, I mean, come on. Of course he's a Hall of Famer. He's the first freaking ballot. No doubt about it. If you don't think so, you need to get off the peyote. You know what I mean? Um, so I had to get it, man, while it was hot. Definitely. Oh, God. I had a loss for words right now. So freaking happy. Um, and then in the box behind me, um, which I'll show in another video coming up, um, I already purchased the... the Joe Montana, the 1981 tops and a PSA 10. And what was funny, man, was when I went to go put it up, I freaking, this box back here is all alphabetical. And I got to the M's, I got to the M.O.'s, got to the M.O.N.'s, and there's the, there's the Joe Montana right there. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know I had a Joe Montana that was already slabbed. I pulled it out. I'd be damned if it wasn't a 1981 tops Joe Montana that was already signed. <laughs> So, uh, one of my top six cards I wanted to get for uh, 2019 I already had. Uh, the one I bought was a total upgrade. Uh, it was a PSA 10. The other autograph wasn't graded. And the one that I got, the signature itself was much nicer. Um, it was that really classic Joe Montana signature that, that we all know and love. And uh, it also had the Hall of Fame inscription where the one that was in the box didn't. So... I basically just sold that one to a pretty good friend of mine at a discounted price and kind of helped subsidize the cost of the one I bought because, man, it set me back. So that is that. I hope to make more videos. Um, I work nights. So when I come home from work, it's around 3 or 4 in the morning. I don't want to be making videos, waking everyone up upstairs. So you'll probably only see videos from me on the weekends. Um, but I will do my best, man, to stick around. Um, I love you guys, man. Um, I'd say majority of y'all are some of my closer friends, not just on the internet, but in life. Um, so that is that. So until next time, adios, be safe. Oh, wait, just a second. I meant to tell y'all, man, the guys that commented on my Pokemon videos with my son, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, he's not around, so I can be open and frank. Those videos aren't for me, man. Um, those aren't for me at all. Those are 100% for him. Um, father and son bonding. And I really, really want to thank y'all um, for commenting, saying positive things on there towards him. Um, if y'all comment on those videos, don't make it towards me. Make it towards him, please. Um, there's a couple really, really positive comments, and he read them all, man. And he was so freaking happy. Um, and the part that just scratches my head is I look back in my last five videos and I think all together I had three thumbs down and I had three thumbs down on that video within the first 30 minutes. Um, so I kind of chalked it up as, um, just, 
I, we have a lot of um, young tubers, young fans um, that watch our channels. And I kind of chalked it up as maybe possibly some of them that did that. Um, and if that's the case, I get it. It's kids being kids, man. But it kind of tugged at the old heartstrings to see that. Um, so I will post this video. And then later today, when Landon wakes up, Mr. Freaking Lazy Bones, um, we will be making another Pokemon because we went Pokemon crazy, dude, since our last videos. And we got in a bunch of breaks from the Nostalgic Factory, and we got all kinds of stuff. This is a freaking ridiculously long video. This is becoming an episode. Until next time, adios. Be safe. Bye-bye. Doodles.